Larry. Yes. Why did you join the Antique Outboard Motor Club? Because I have a lifelong passion for Mercury Outboards. You do? I do. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of it. Whatever happened to that 800 deal you had with that I had uh, the catamaran? Two, I had the two 800s on the Powercat that I sold to a fellow from Florida who has a summer place in uh, not, yeah, Limerick, Maine, which is really close to here. Yeah, does he have it up here or down there? He leaves it up here. He does. Yep. Yeah. But because so he still got it. He still got it, but he hasn't been up this summer. He hasn't. He's on the hook to buy a Mark 55A from me, but he hasn't come back. So. So, what did you? When did you join the club? Uh well, I've been a member of AOMCI for 15 years. 15? About. It's longer and, than that, and Larry. I've, and, and Christ, maybe. it was 15 years ago that you had that 800 rig. 14. 14, okay. Well, Very close. I'm pretty close. Right, let's say 20 years. But the All first right. time I joined AOMCI, my older daughter signed me up. She, she paid the gotcha. $50 for two years. Okay. And I've sort of kept it up since then. I got gotcha. you. And Pine Tree, I don't think I was an original member of Pine Tree, although I think you were. But I was close. Okay. And I'm also a member of uh, SSOA. And, okay. And that, that's like that's the race. That's like I'm having two sets of DNA. All okay. Of all right. <laughs> so, Larry, what sort of rigs have you had over the years for the antique? I started out. I started out with a glass bar Lido and a Mark 55. And then that's I, a good rig. Yep. And then I bought a, a Dorset ski sled from Bob Soames in Hollow, Maine, with a Merc 400. And you still have your shoes and your shirt. <laughs> Yep. I'm surprised you weren't I, naked when you walked I out even, of that bathroom. I even office. got a good, what I thought at the time was a good deal. <laughs> and then I bought a sailboat and learned to, to love sailing and hate wooden boats yeah. all at once. And then I bought a Merc 150 in 1969 that I still have. That's a 15 horse. Okay. Slowboat. Yep. It's the automatic and transmission then I, job. I, would, I, would, I spent too, way too long bringing up two children. And then in the 80s, I got back into boats. I got a glass bar G3 before I knew what a piece of junk that was. Put a Merc 600 with a Mark 78A powerhead. Okay. Taught my older daughter what made a uh, distributor work. And it's sort of gone on from there. And then I got a, in the mid 80s, I got a Dixie Renegade 156. So you like to love them and leave them? Yep. Okay. And I still have that boat. Okay. I ran it for a year with a long shaft Mark 78A until I could afford to buy a 115 mid 80s L6. Okay. And I, we still have that. And Quinn and I have been water skiing all summer. Behind it. So I've got me a little years. bit in on my Mark 78. I've been twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But just haven't been able to make things work out. You have to find a third person in yeah. Maine. Yeah. Well, he's been he's been up 14 times. All right. This summer. And with an amazing variety of, of uh, how many times people. have you been up? Five, because I threw my shoulder out. Okay, five All right. times, and I was going to go the other whatever nine, but I, my shoulder gave out. And I was going to go two weeks ago, but it was too cold that day. Yeah, it was very cold two weeks was ago. Was it two weeks ago or last weekend? I forget. Well, it, no, two weeks ago. Yeah, it was yeah, cold. Right. Yeah, I tried to get David Kelly to go too, but yeah. didn't happen. Yeah. Well, all right. Very good interview. I like your boat. You got any new boats other than the one you just mentioned? That last one. That well, was the last. The kids have racing boats. Okay. Well, that's that's, that's, that's a whole a, different, that's a horse that's a whole different, different deal. All right. All right. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, sir.